New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees has apologized yet again over remarks that he made criticizing players for taking a knee during the national anthem. Take a look at this. I know there's not much that I can say that would make things any better right now, but I just want you to see in my eyes how sorry I am for the comments that I made yesterday. I know that it hurt many people. That was never my intention. I wish I would have laid out what was on my heart. I am sorry and I will do better and I will be part of the solution and I am your ally. Well, now one of Drew's critics, LeBron James, also retweeted a video of Fox News anchor Laura Ingram, where she blasted him in 2018 for voicing his opinion on the president. But then in another clip, she defends Drew for speaking his mind. I wonder what the difference is. Have a look. Oh, and LeBron and Kevin, you're great players, but no one voted for you. Millions elected Trump to be their coach. So keep the political commentary to yourself. Or as someone once said, shut up and dribble. Shut up and dribble. That was, of course, LeBron James's title of his uh, documentary he put out. Well, yesterday, Laura took notice and issued this statement on her show, Watch. Every American has a God-given right to speak his or her own mind on any issue. And I think in order to heal and shed light on gross injustices, our country needs more dialogue, not less. Very different from shut up and dribble. Well, uh, how do you feel about that, Lindsay, straight off the bat, other than completely hypocritical? Well, I agree. I actually agree that we need more conversation. I think that the thing is that we have to get really uncomfortable and start talking about a lot of the issues and not just black people, white people, people of all backgrounds have to start having real conversations about what's wrong. Um, I think that, you know, the statements that she made about LeBron obviously years ago were not appropriate at all, you know, and he proved her wrong in many ways totally. by owning his own production company and exceeding in many levels of life. But, you know, I think as far as uh, Drew Brees' apology, he has to understand that a lot of black veterans also fought in the same wars as his grandfather yes. was part of, and they came home to be afforded no freedoms whatsoever. So it's almost like you're disregarding not only your teammates and other black players, you're disregarding the fact that black men also fought for this country and women and got treated like crap when they came home. That is so well said, including our own Brandon London. His grandfather's fought in that war as well.